This is Roy Elliott with Roy Elliott Art and Customs and welcome back to another video. Hey, man, listen, we got a rush job. We have a rush job and it gotta be ready in a couple of days for a funeral. So listen, this one right here, we gonna do this one for my boy Brandon that lost his best friend KD and KD was a huge Green Bay Packer fan. So you know what? We gotta represent. Hey, listen, Brandon, whenever I lost my mom, I had a dream and she was like, you know, I was real upset. I didn't know what to do. I felt lost and um, it was like a phone call. And so she was like, boy, why do you keep calling my name if you know that I'm just trying to sleep? Okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to sleep. So I'm gonna tell you, Brandon, Hey, I, I know that it's a loss, but listen, man, your boy KD is just sleeping. You will see him again, but guess what? We about to get into this shoe because I got to get it to you so you can represent your boy KD. Hey, KD, rest in peace. We about to get into this shoe. Let's go. I really didn't want to bore you guys too much with all the prep work, so... I took the shoestrings off, started to put all the acetone on, you know, hitting the right spots, making sure that that paint was gonna stick. So after that, I put the Green Bay logo on and I want you to take note at that little plus sign at the top right, that's gonna come in a little bit later. So now it's time to get in the booth. And right here, I'm adding all of my yellow paint for that little bitty stroke that goes around the Green Bay Packer logo. Now right here, man, I ain't gonna even hold you. I am way ahead of myself. But I really didn't even realize it's not even time for yellow. I'm tripping. Man, let me take a break since my airbrush starting to sputter. Let me clean it out. Yeah, that's it. We rolling now. We back on track. Let me drop this green so I can hit that Green Bay Packer logo in the front. I really don't know what size I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. That look about right to me. So right here, I'm actually cutting the slits, making sure those letters lay down perfectly. Now, once again, I'm tripping. I know I got an Amazon Associates link, but I ain't never really told nobody. Now, how am I gonna make money if I don't ever say nothing? A closed mouth never get fed. Link down below. I told you that little bitty plus sign at the top right gonna come back to play. Here it is. Let's do that yellow stroke. Time to lay down that stroke. No point intended. But right here, man, I forgot that I was actually recording a YouTube video. I'm live on TikTok. And man, honestly, I'm not gonna even hold you. It's really hard to try to create a YouTube video, be live on TikTok, need to go live on Instagram, how can you do that? That's a real live problem for most creators. But you know what? Your boy, he gonna figure it out. Watch. So I put down the light gray, added the white. Now it's time to put in the work. She was almost there. So it's time to paint the inside now. Boy, you better not forget that GAC 900. Or your toes gonna be bleeding. Now it's time to actually start laying down some paint for the artwork for my boy KD. Right here, I'm kinda just ironing it, trying to get the sizing down. Now I got the placement right where I want to. 
Now it's time to do a little stencil work. And like I always been saying, just because you lay down a stencil does not guarantee it's going to look like the person that you're trying to paint. And now I got my Alpha Flex and I'm just mixing a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, a little bit of blush, trying to get that complexion right. But we'll get back to that later. Let's lay down some color. Right here, I'm actually just like I said, doing all of the block work. Laying it down, making sure that that paint is gonna stick. But if you did good prep work, you'll be all right. Now it's time to peel up the stencil and see what we got. Yeah, that look like that's gonna work. lay down another stencil I guess it's important to kind of get that stencil right but for me it really don't matter I could be off a little bit but I'm still going to get that portrait on point adding a little bit more color Adding a little bit of that Alpha 6. Just to give me a little shade so I can see what's going on. Now the color is laid down. Now it's up to me. I think I'm going to add one more highlight for its complexion before I blend it all together. now it's time for the last stencil i don't know what color i want to do the jersey right now so for now let's just add green like i always say this is where the fun begins this is where you know if you're going to have an excellent shoe or not Right now, this time span is about 30, 35 minutes or so. Right now, I'm really not concerned with all of the details. I'm just trying to get a likeness. The most important thing right now is just trying to get the likeness. Make sure that my colors are close to the picture that was provided. We'll come back and get the details later. I have to get this shoe taped up and in the booth. The number one rule whenever you paint letters is to paint the exact color of the background that locks in the stencil. And by doing this, you won't have too much touch up. Let's get the inside done. We're running out of time. Now here, I kind of cheated a little bit. I didn't want to clean my airbrush, so I started off in the middle. And then, I focused on the yellow. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be canary yellow. So I added a little bit of orange, just to give it that green bay feel. Now it's time to add the green. Man, this shoe is looking pretty crispy. Not gonna lie. Now 
Now listen, I didn't want it to be grass green. So what I did was added a little bit of olive green just to give it a little bit of patina feel or vignette. Man, we just about there. But I gotta clean up that fade a little bit. Yeah, that's it. I got a little bit of overspray, so I'm gonna take care of that. Knock it out with a little bit of yellow. Yeah, that's it right there. I didn't want that green to be too overpowering because I already knew that he had a green, green bay jacket. So I think that yellow would be nice. Now don't let the time lapse fool you. I let this shoe sit for about two hours just so that I could be sure that this paint would set in perfectly and look like candy. Now it's time to pull the letters up but you have to make sure that you hit each one of those letters with a heat gun so they can come off like butter. Yeah, you see it. That shoe is there, it's ready. All I really have to do now is do my detail work, pull all that nasty tape up, Put the best finisher in the game that liquid kicks on. Factory finish. Man, if I like Green Bay, I will wear these. Let's string them up. That's it, bro. I promise you it is. <laughs> I promise you it is, man. Yes, sir. Got me looking in the mirror for the cell diagnosis. 